visibility 1.5, ceiling at 20,000 broken. Temperature 1.5, dew point 1.0, altimeter 3.0.0.5, runway 1.6. Hey, my name is Ryan Rungi with uh, Slate Falls Outpost. I started in the tourism industry at a young age at uh, my grandpa's camp on Eagle Lake and been doing it ever since then. Worked at a bunch of camps all through my life and started with Vern Hollett uh, at Slate Falls Outpost in about 2017 part-time and then took over from him in 2018, 2019. And been running this camp ever since. Uh, we have uh, as of this year, we have nine outposts. Root Bay and Eagle Island are on Lake St. Joseph. We've got three cabins at Eagle Island with uh, two camp tents that stay there, Russ and Marine. Root Bay holds 10 people. Actually, all the cabins on Lake St. Joe all hold 10s. And then we have Manis. They both hold eight. They're log cabins that were built on site. And Arc Lake and Carling Lake, we added in 2019. Arc Lake, we built uh, in 2019 and Carling we built in 2020. Arc Lake holds eight people and Carling holds six. It was built then and then we have Hooker which is also part of this system and it holds 12 people. So our lakes are you know obviously because they're fly-in lakes you know super super little pressure. We have had run a conservation program for 25 plus years which Vern started running himself so 18 and under on the walleyes, no overs. Everything that's a picture fish goes back and for someone else to catch. On the pike, we have 42. Is uh, you know a common pike up here where we get uh, our cup fish. So that's a cool program that we're running to get a custom Slate Falls Outpost cup when you catch a 27 and a half inch walleye or a 42 inch pike. Um, everything on the pike is 27 and under and we throw everything back that's over just to save those the fun ones to catch for the next guy. There, oh my gosh, right there. That was the first cast. The very first cast here. And I'm hooked up. That's a good fish. Where am I? I don't know what this, if this is a walleye, this is my very first cast here. I took one pop, came over to those fish. Yeah. Oops. There. Very first cast, he kind of swiped at it and I got him underneath the jaw, and underneath here and that happens like with those jigging baits, but on the board already. <laughs> My main thing here was to go up here and drift for the pike and kind of cast along that edge with a, the swim bait and the bucktail, but I got my finger here on the trigger. If I see anything, I'm gonna drop it right there. It should be just off the back of the boat now. Right there, that. that it's a little bit smaller one, but I think yeah, it feels pretty good. They all feel good. And that's when you come up here. Yep, yeah, little one there. That's, is that my second cast? So this is my second cast, two casts, two bites, two walleye this one back. We're going to probably be eating walleye tonight, but I'm not ready to keep one this size. We get them a little bit bigger. Oh, there's a bigger one right underneath me right now. Oh, there's two of them. You can see them right here. So I just dropped on those two, then that fish right there. So I'll do one pop. See if I can get one of those to bite. Nice little breeze. There, got him there. Yep. Oh, the 
there. <laughs> oh, this is this might be a blue walleye. They got him up. They got him up in here. Let's lift this one in. Ah, oh, that's a pretty one. The dark colors on here. Get that bait off. Nice single hook. Oh, cool. That dark. It's almost like a blue walleye. The tail, a little bit different color pattern on this one. That. Oh, okay. All right, three casts, three fish. Let's see if we can make it four for four. Just these are, oh, there, that's four, four drops, four fish, or four, four for four. I got a little school underneath the boat here and flip this guy in and these fish you know fish like this this is a lot of fun because you get a lot of throw this back and try to go catch another one really quick right back there and a lot of people come up here for like numbers and just non-stop action that's what you can that's what you can experience and people bring clickers so you're you're trying to get you know a lot of times you can get 100 fish days are not, oh, there's a fish right there, are not uncommon. And then using a, a jig like this, bait like this where you don't have to, you don't have to mess with live bait. You can just kind of go around and then the bottom here is soft. It's not right here, it's not snaggy. So even the treble hook, like on the bot bottom of this, <laughs> the bottom, uh, here you're not gonna, the only thing you can get snagged into is fish. So this, how many drops is this now? What are we at? Five. Oh yeah, this is nice. This would be a bad one to eat. Look at that one. Yeah, that's a really cool. He just popped the, just the top of the lure right there. Very cool. Fire tiger is always good up in Canada. you pike fishing or walleye fishing, no matter what any bait that you're using this pattern, whether it's crankbaits, jerkbaits, or jigging deep, j j deeper jigging baits like this, it just works and it's a nice contrast in this tea stained water. That's a better, better pike, I think, than what we're looking for. Unless it's a giant walleye. Oh yeah, nice one. That's kind of what we came up here for. Where's my net? I might need a, just got in here and I don't have the net quite ready, but that's all right. I can grab this one. Let's see. And sometimes they they decide when they want to stop. Arc like outpost here. You know, you can do the combo walleye and pike. Easy there. There you go. Easy. Easy. Sometimes if you just kind of gently, gently, gently kind of pull them in when they don't feel the tension. Got it. All right. Here we go. That's. A nice one. Ooh, they're here. Sweet pike. This really is the, you know, when you get them this size and bigger, it's, it's, it's truly a treat up here. There's not a boat in sight and the beautiful sunset country wilderness. Amazing. So Ryan marked a map 
And actually, we caught a pike, nice pike, right at one of the spots he circled. And we're going to hit a couple of these other ones. I think we might hit that. We might go through this narrow area right here and then go through to the east side of Vincent Lake and hit this deep hump. So definitely a, a half a dozen spots we're going to go fish right now. And one of them that he marked, absolutely produced. Oops. So, oh, that's a nicer one. Just throwing back in the current here, it's kind of fun. Yeah. A longer fish. Nicer one. It's got to eat a little bit more. <laughs> there we go. That's still some fun. Yeah, skinny fish. Pretty long, though. All right. Oh my gosh, I didn't even get that one. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I didn't even jig that thing, just hit the bottom. And... A pike? Oh yeah, it's a pike. It's hooked good. It's good. He's, I think. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes they get one kick. Gotcha. There we go. That's fun. Yeah. All right. Good. Thank you for just having the jig right there. So this area here is where the river, water's flowing out of the lake into a river. So it's kind of a neck down from the lake. So you have nice current. And then we're looking for some shallow you know, for some weed cover. Most of the weeds here are shallow. So that's what we're looking for. We're looking for river current and weeds, and definitely anytime you have an inflow or outflow from a river, fish are gonna be there. There we go. Okay, a little. They get up like this side, they're pretty fun. We're going for a giant, but tell you what, I get no complaints catching them this size. Get that drag a little bit. Oh, drag's fine. So when they do, yeah, when they do those little runs like that. Whoop. It's like, yeah, I'm gonna probably just, they like to run like that. Probably just throw this one in the net. Whoop. <laughs> and they do jump. That's another nice fun thing about pike fishing. There. Yeah, it's nice pike, very nice pike. Really fun. Oh, shit, he's bleeding. Get it back in the water, bleeding a little bit. Okay. All right, so it is our final day here at Arc Lake Outpost up in beautiful sunset country. And so far we've had a, a really great time fishing and, and uh, kind of just enjoying the wilderness up here. We haven't seen a single boat the entire trip. And we've caught so many fish, sometimes Justin has put down the big camera and we just cast. I mean, it's just fish after fish after fish. We get double headers like pretty much in every single spot we go to. And we're driving down the lake to Taper Lake today and going for Big Pike, of course, and then a number of walleye as well. That's the name of the game here, but mainly we're trying to get a, another nice northern pike in this beautiful part of Sunset Country. one that's probably uh my guess feels yeah first 
Actually, it was, I think, technically my second cast on the bigger swim bait. Got her thing down here. There. Nice. First cast in her little portage spot. And we're on the board. Oh, all right. Whoop. <laughs> For the portage in, I just brought two rods. This is a medium action bait caster from Trica 610. Medium extra fast. And then right here, spinning rod. This is a medium action fast. This is a great all around walleye rod. Coming up here, these are the two, two rods I'm gonna use. And for ge oh, general all around walleye fishing, these are excellent options for a variety of different presentations. Right now I'm gonna throw a little bit bigger swim bait. In the lake, I would kind of snap jig this thing, but in the current, I, I like to slow roll it. Oh, I like to kind of just swim it in the current, get that tail kicking because like in the and these rocks in the current, and just being from shore, it can be kind of snaggy. So, all right, this is one of my favorite walleye baits. It's a, a VMC moontail jig, and it's narrow design, cuts water really well. So when you're fishing in current, this will this will slide through the current really easily. I do have a a swivel on here, and that's what I'm snap jigging out in the lake. I'll snap jig it, and this reduces line twist when it's going back down. This will help reduce the line twist on the braid. But for the current here, just kind of a straight retrieve. So casting it out and then just kind of letting it kind of sink down and swim in the current. And it kind of flares out when it is in the current. And whoop, that was a bite. It's, it's a really great option. You don't need a soft plastic trailer on it. You don't need live bait. They'll hit it. Sometimes you can give it a couple of little pops like that. They'll hit it just kind of swimming. Just, whoop, that was another little bite. The swimming just like, just out of the package, which is really, which is really nice when you don't have to mess with live bait, you don't have to mess, I said, with soft plastics and the hookups on this with the big, nice single hook are great. And walleye really love hair jigs. So two, two ways I'll fish these, snap jigging, when we're snap jigging out in the lake and then here in the river current, just kind of swimming it. And this works everywhere. There you go, buddy. You know, throughout Canada, anywhere you have a river coming in and stained water like this, well, there's fish there. All right. Now time to portage back out and walk back up in on a high note down here. All right, a little, a little better. And just keep this back, nice here, back troll. And these boats are so comfortable here to fish out of. And we got the wind coming into this little narrow spot. We're in a bucktail. Oh yeah, they're fun. Tell you what, when they get this size, and here they do, they do get a lot bigger. Oh, this one's good. It's a lot of fun. This one's. I don't have to net it. All right, you're gonna, that's pretty, oh yeah, he's pretty chill. I can just grab him back behind, oh yeah. Yeah, that's a nice one. I'm going to just lift it in like this. Do a little grip under here. There we go. That's a, that's a respectable pike. That's a ton of fun, sweet. out there, it's kind of what we're trying to cast into the shore and then taking some shots out there to get, oh yeah, nice for one. Yeah, kind of loosen my drag a little bit sometimes when I get them near, near the boat. There, oh that's a better bike. Yeah, gosh they're fun. They're just so much fun. They're such an aggressive, such an aggressive fish. And the thing here at, let me get this guy, Arc Lake Outpost is, I'll tell you in a second, we haven't seen a boat 
yet on this entire trip. And actually, I'm just gonna net this one really quick, nice and easy. There, just net this one, get the hooks out. All right, so what we've actually what we found here is you don't get followers; they're just on. They just bite, and and this one, this one, just the same way. You're just re, you don't they don't come in and follow; they just bite, and. This is another good one. That's fun. Boy, walleye and pike fishing in Sunset Country is so, so enjoyable.